Flagging a message means that you want to put a flag next to your email here, of course over in the flag column. As a reminder, it needs follow-up attention. So if I double click and open up this email, and it's from Rob, and he says please review, but I don't have time for it now, but I know it's important, I can go ahead and close out of here, and I can right click on the flag column and add a flag to follow up. You can also right click further up in the email, but you'd have to go down to follow up and then select a flag over here. Or, select the email message, come up here on the standard toolbar, there's the follow up, okay? Or you can open up the message from the message tab to the options group, there's the follow up as well. So let me close out. Right click on the flag column and for this email I'll set it to today. Now if I set it to today, what that means is it sets it one hour before the end of the current date after which it's going to become past due. So what I mean by that is when I set it to today, when it becomes past due at 11.01 p.m. tonight, this text or the subject for the email is going to turn red. Also, once I set a flag here that's due today, it'll be listed over here in the to-do bar. Not only will it be listed here, but when it's past due, it'll turn red. Also, over in the task folder here when I click on it, now I'm not looking in the task folder itself, I'm looking in the task folder, but the to-do list of the task folder. So the to-do list has, you know, all the flags or all the email messages that I flagged, including, well, right here, review documents, double click and open that up, okay? close out, I'm going to go back to my mail folder view and I want to show you what it looks like again when it becomes past due. So to do that I'm going to go ahead and right click on the flag for that email and I'm going to customize it. Click on custom. Now the start date was today. I'm going to change that and say well it was supposed to start yesterday and the due date I'm going to change that and say it was due yesterday. Now notice here where it says flag to follow up click on the drop down arrow you can use it for other reasons like flag to read the message okay then click OK and you can see it turns red over here in the to do bar it turns red in the task folder in the to do list view it turns red so back to my mail view here now if you haven't noticed that you do have other options so if turning red the message here isn't enough I really need a pop-up in front of me a pop-up reminder you can go ahead and right click on the flag or again you can right click on the message but you have to go down to follow up then you can come down here and either customize it or add a reminder if I add a reminder it gives me the reminder option here it's checked click cancel if I right click on it again well let me select the message and right click on it and I go to follow up and I do custom I just have to check the reminder box K okay? that's the difference between the two so let's change this let's say the start date was today then it sets the due date to today, that only makes sense. You can see my clock in the lower right hand corner is 3.05. So if I come over here and I set it just oh a few minutes ahead, like let's say 3.06, and then click OK, we just need to wait till that turns to 3.06. Well, in all honesty, it takes about a minute for it to process. So once it hits 3.06, probably about 3.07, I'll get my little pop-up reminder. And you can see up here on the email message, I got a little bell. So it's got a reminder set. Like I said, it takes about a minute for it to figure it out to give me the pop-up. Now, you don't have to have Microsoft maximized here. You can minimize it. And there it goes. It just popped up. See that? What I was about to say is that you don't have to have Microsoft Outlook maximized to get a pop-up. You can have it minimized and work on other things. But you do have to have it open because if you don't have it open, you're not going to get your pop-up. And there it is. So I can go ahead and double click and open it up, read all about it, close out, and then I can dismiss it if I'm finished with it and let me restore my Microsoft Outlook. Once I dismissed it, the pop-up is dismissed, but I still have my flag, okay? Now earlier on, I got rid of some of the folders up here, some of the shortcuts like some of the folders where it said unread messages. Well, if you want to bring those up, or more to the point, I want to display the follow-up folder, which will be a folder of all the uh, messages I need to follow up on. You can come up here and click on the drop-down arrow next to the new message. Go down to search folder, and then over here in the new search folder pane, just select what folder you'd like. There's the mail, either unread or flagged to follow up folder. I don't want the unread, I just want the mail flagged for follow up, and click OK. It adds the folder down below for follow up there, which I can, you know, click in it, and there it is. It needs to be followed up on. I mean, this is extra stuff that you can choose whether or not you want to add it to uh, your navigation pane and see if that's helpful, an extra folder there. The one thing I do recommend that you don't do is once you add it, to go back and add it again. So, in other words, you could collapse this and say, oh, well, I don't know where it's at now, so let me click on the new drop down arrow, search folder, 
and select the same thing and click OK and watch what happens. It's adding the same folder again, but this time it adds it with one. Next time you add it, it'll be two, three, see, don't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and delete that one because I only need one. And instead, just be sure that you remind yourself that if you collapse this to come back and expand it and just go right to that folder to view your follow-ups. Now, the reason why this could be beneficial is because in your inbox, you may not want to keep some of your emails. You may create additional folders and drag them to other folders. Maybe you create additional ones for your personal and business. Instead of going through all the personal and business and finding all the email messages you have to follow up on, you can have one folder that will go into any of these folders and pull all the ones you need to follow up on and dump it into one or not, I wouldn't say dump it, but copy it over into this one or link it into this one, okay? All right, in this folder or in the inbox, I can go ahead and get rid of this flag by right-clicking on it and going down to clear, or I can mark it complete, check it off here, adds a little check mark, which is fine. Again, I can completely remove it and clear it off, and I'm back to square one. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.